Hello guys, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 11 of Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And the last episode ended kind of abruptly in the middle of Kotake's dialogue, sorry about that, but let's just get on with it. If it's, if it's just the Skull Kid, then what harm could he, po he possibly do? Well, he does have that Majora's Mask, you know. Well, she doesn't know that, obviously, but... Oh, well, if that's the truth, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. And we get our er, we get red, a bottle of red potion, but more importantly, you got a bottle. Red potion replenishes health. After using the potion, save the bottle for storing things. And yeah, I'm heading back to the potion shop for now, so I'm counting upon you. And she goes back to the potion shop through the trees. Oh, she doesn't fly through the tree, tree tops epically. She just screws us over and warps away. All right, so. What you would normally think to do, and what I normally thought to do, would just be to run up here, and when and when you come up here, target her and use the potion, right? That's what you would think to do. But no, if you do that, Link's gonna drink the potion in front of her like a jackass. And since I don't want to waste time in showing that off, we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, so when this screen pops up, press start up to open the select item screen and choose to choose and use an item with C. You want to pay attention to that, because that is the time when you're supposed to take out your red potion, and use it. This time Link won't drink it, he'll actually hand it over. Ah, that color, that smell, that's definitely Kotaki's. If you get a red potion from somewhere else, it works too, it doesn't have to be Kotaki's. But she'll still say it's Kotaki's, because she's a nub. With a big nose. Look at her nose. Ooh, I feel the energy flow. Kume is revived. I think I completely changed voices for these ladies. Oh well. You saved me. I'm the Swamp Tour Guide. I run the boat cruise, so come by if you want a free ride. If you want a free ride. And she actually does fly off epically, unlike her sister. Damn it. All right. So now that we've done, oh hello, monkeys. You have strange powers. No. Me been watching you. Lately, this swamp filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall. Strange. Brother, go to temple. But brother, no able to find the temple entrance. Deku, temple for Deku only. Brother captured by Deku. Now in palace. Help! And if you follow them for long enough, they'll just disappear off the face of the earth. Let's see if we can make that happen. If you have a certain other mask that we don't have at this point, this is a lot easier to show, but I suppose rolling will suffice. And... Oh! They just disappeared. Wow. Alright, and I don't think we need to actually go back for anything. Uh, other than, you can buy some potions over there if you want, but I don't think I need them. Alright, so now that we're done with that little side quest, we're not technically entirely done with that yet, because there's something else that you can show there, and I probably will at some point, but yeah. Uh, what's up this way? Let's see. Boing! This is the this is the way that keeps going past the potion shop. It doesn't go back to the boat cruise. I don't think, oh, that's an epic waterfall. I love that. Where is it even coming from? And what's that? Is that a volcano? Is this Death Mountain Reborn? That's an interesting theory. I've never really thought of that. I never noticed it was like a volcano type thing. Oh, uh, what does this say? Deku Palace ahead. Beware of Octa Rocks. Cool. I've never taken the, actually like the time out to read all of these little entries and examine so many things in this game. It's kind of fun to do that, for, especially for the first time like while recording it. Uh, and this video is going to be late, just like the many days before it. But yeah. What are you? What? Are you? No, what? Ow! You jackass. That was so mean. What'd you have to do that for? Hey, hey, who's hitting me? Stupid Octoroks. You know about the Octorok, but all you have to do is deflect that rocket spits out with our shield. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever defended as a Deku Scrub before. That's really weird, and apparently it doesn't block Octoroks. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on. Hit my Hylian shield. Actually, wouldn't if it was a Highland Shield, wouldn't it be like make me go into turtle mode? So this is obviously a different kind of shield. I don't know. Who cares? All right. Let's see if we can actually examine this guy this time. All right. Don't tell me you don't know what the big Octo. If you don't want to be sucked in, keep your distance. Aim from afar. And when I first read that, I thought that that meant yeah you had to like shoot it with bubbles from afar, kind of like this. Ooh, splat. But no, that does nothing. No matter how many times you do that, you will not accomplish a thing. So that aim from afar thing, 
is totally irrelevant to actually to the way you actually have to get rid of that Octo. But the way you actually get rid of it is actually really awesome. Can't wait to show that, man. Alright, oh, my voice is getting tired. My voice is getting sore, rather. Let's take a drink. Glug, glug, glug. Mmm. Coke. Coke is good. Coke is got. Wow, I made a reference to this game in this game with the, that random quote. Ow! Mosquito just bit me on the face and it hurt. How does that work? I've never been hurt by a mosquito bite. Oh well. Now my face is gonna get itchy. Oh no! I just danced in circles around the damn stupid lily pad. Pretty big lily pads too, ain't aren't they? Ain't they? I'll turn into Nintendo Capri Sun now, am I? You know how to guys. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and actually take the boat cruise. Since we've freed Kume, we can do it. Let's do it. Let's see. Alright, uh, we're gonna talk to her as a human just in case. Jick. Oh, oh, thank you for what you did back there. And that's, that's the fairy voice. I what am I doing? In a special deal just for you, I'll let you take the cruise for free. Ah, yes, we've got a special going on right now, so we're giving this out for free. Oh, we got a picto box with our cruise. That's nice. Oh, pictograph box. Excuse me for using Wind Waker terms. You can shoot only one pictograph at a time, which means that this picto box sucks. This is like what the old time ones where you have to like wind it up for like two hours and then take a picture, and you have to like cover yourself in a curtain and stuff. All right, the boat's leaving. Cool. All right, welcome to the boat cruise. Please set your pictograph box to C, then press C to look through. Please enjoy the swamp scenery to your heart's content. And yeah, we're like, we're gonna take out our pickup box just because we're not gonna take any pictures with it. We're just gonna use it so we can see better. You know, check out the nice scenery. Why not? Hey, let's swing on those vines. Can we stop and swing? I want to be George of the Jungle or Tarzan or someone. Wait a minute, am I the only one on this boat? Where's Kume? Is she dragging the boat from underwater or something? Damn, even through the waterfall. That's a lovely effect. It reminds me of Niagara Falls when we went in the Maid of the Mist. And, oh, watch this. Get ready for it. Bam! Oh, yeah. Run his ass over. Run his ass over. That is just epic. I was so happy the first time I saw that. And I don't know what these weird plants are, but they're pretty. I like them. I want one in my house. Anyways, we're stopping now. Now arriving at Deku Palace. The swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. Are you disembarking? Yeah, yeah. Cause I see that monkey over there, he wants my attention. Let's go with him. Sure. And this is the Deku Palace. And it has really awesome music too. I love this music so much. It gets stuck in my head sometimes actually, so... Yeah. Anyways, let's just barge in. Yeah, hey, let me barge in. Let me barge in. I'm gonna let- you're gonna make- let me barge in, aren't you? This is the royal palace of the Deku Kingdom. This is no place for outsiders. Well, now I'm not an outsider. Even though you just saw me put on that mask anyway, so you'd be able to know I'm a human. But apparently not. Only those an official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Alright, let's heed their directions, and let's not go to either the inner palace garden ahead, or to the inner palace garden ahead. But we'll go to the royal chamber ahead. Damn, what's with all these places ahead? And there's a fire there, fire burning. Fire burning cauldron bubble. Alright. Rumor has it that the monkey ate the princess. How frightful! How could a monkey eat a Deku scrub? Really? Only royal family members can enter the sunken temple, so it's obvious that the monkey was using her. Really? Oh, really? Anyways, I think I might want to take a picture of this guy. Just for something later. No, that's not good. Alright, come on, da buddy. I, I, was, I was about to say daddy. Come on, daddy. Kind of would fit since I'm a Deku scrub right now. Alright, that's pretty good. Pretty good. And let's talk to him. What the, what the hell? I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't allow for the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku princess. 
He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what that means when you do that. That foolish monkey is in the cage. Take a good look at his face. You know, get his face out of my place. Now that our beloved princess is missing, the king has been unable to keep his cool. I fear the princess may be caught up in some kind of trouble, just as that monkey claims. But in the current state, the king can't even send troops out to look for her. What are we to do? What are we to do? Hmm, how very strange. What an odd circumstance. I saw it, that monkey and the princess entering the temple tonight. But only the monkey came back out. Oh my god, did you ever think that she got captured inside the temple? The tiny princess, oh, the tiny princess? Really? Only recently in the play Dicky Pipes, His Royal Highness was so proud of her. I'd be proud too if my daughter first learns to play her instrument. That would be awesome. They keep saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please believe my words. Uh, I guess I kind of believe you. Even though I have no reason to other than the fact that pretty much the good guys are always right. Oh, hello. Why are you stalking me, bro? Why are you so happy? Jeez, look at his face. If I can pause it there, then that would be cool. Just to show his face. Link's head's bobbing up and down, following his every motion. He's being an imitant. With my brother alright? Did you see the entrance to the cage? We know a secret route there. Enter a secret route from outer garden entrance. But entrance is a tall place. No one can reach it. Need bean from bean cellar. Live beneath palace garden. Hmm. Understand my meaning? Uh, yeah, it's pretty clear. Oh, you smart. Plant a bean in a soft place by outer garden. You figure out rest. Hurry up, help, brother. Is it just me, or does the monkey that's been captured t speak much better, or, yeah, much better English than the other monkeys? I don't know, that's weird. Alright, let's go ahead and, um, try not to get caught here. Just try, just stay out of the line of sight of these Deku guards and you'll be fine. It's really not too hard. If you ask me, and there's quite a few rupees to pick up along the way, too. Oh, sorry I'm not making, like, a complete guide of this. It's just... Because it's basically it's just the same concept the whole time. Just stay away from their sight. Stay out of the direct line of sight. Like, they won't look to the left or anything, and, or behind them. At any point, they'll just turn around and stuff. Oh, God. And... Heartpiece. Booyah. We got, we got another heartpiece in the in the bank, I guess. Ah, an intruder! Yeah. Even though I wanted to get caught, it still pains me to see Link thrown out of there. So, so, like, so innocent, so useless. He's, like, completely unarmed. And he gets just, he just gets thrown out. You know, they're just throwing him into the wind to survive on his own. On his own? Link just got owned. He must survive on his own. Alright. This one is, this part of the garden is a little bit trickier. Yeah. And sometimes these Deku guards, they randomly stop. But, oh well. Ah. Uh, and sometimes they just keep moving. Just It's always random whether they stop or not. Right. So let's just sneak through here like Metal Gear! Oh my, he went through the rock. That's so unfair. Did you see that? He was standing in the rock when he captured me. That is just cheap. Yes. Metal Gear Liquid. Metal Gear Deku Link. Bam bam bow. That was made. Yeah, that makes me think of him as a robot more than anything. Metal Gear Deku Link. And oh god. Oh, let's avoid. 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 No. Why do I suck? I suck. I suck so much at this. Right. One more try within the video, maybe. Let's see. Can we bulldoze through this? Let's see. I'm saying let's see too much. Let's see. Come on, let's see. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Bow. I can see all obstacles in my way. I'm like these guys. They don't see me at all. Of course, I'm not really in their way, I suppose. Alright, uh, let's follow this. Oh, God. No, what? Why'd you turn around? You jackass. I, I, I said that they didn't turn around, but apparently I was misinformed by my brain. Alright. Uh, we don't really have much time for another attempt at this stupid little maze sneaking part. Uh, it's kind of a throwback to Ocarina of Time, really. If you think about it, how you had to sneak past the guards in Hyrule Castle. But this one's a lot harder. So, we're just going to leave it at that for this episode. 
Thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.